MCT oil is definitely a secret weapon for keeping your nerves firing and restoring function. MCT oils have been proven to enhance mitochondrial function even in severely damaged nerves. Ever feel like your nerves are sending out an SOS signal but no one is answering the call? It turns out there is a powerhouse oil that can rescue your nerves and no it's not olive oil, it's MCT oil. You've probably heard the buzz about MCT oil's ability to boost energy and support weight loss. But what if I told you it's a secret weapon for keeping your nerves firing on all cylinders? In fact, it's making incredible waves for nerve health and repair. In this video, we're unlocking the science behind how MCT oils could help your nerves heal faster, function better, and even protect them from future damage. You don't want to miss this. Hey there, health warriors, Dr. C here. Let's dive deep into the secret weapon for nerve repair, and that's MCT oil. So what exactly is MCT oil? Well, think of it like the premium fuel your exotic car engine craves. It's fast, clean, and built to give you that extra boost without the burnout. MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides, a type of fat that quickly is absorbed and turned into energy. Unlike the usual fats that like to hang around, hello, can anyone say belly fat? MCTs get right to work, giving you a fast boost of energy without weighing you down. Now, you might be thinking, I have neuropathy, so why should I care? Well, here's the deal. MCT oil isn't just about energy, it's about optimizing how your body runs. Research shows it supports brain function, it improves mental clarity and cognition, even for people suffering with dementia and Alzheimer's. It also supports nerve function, nerve repair, and regeneration. And the best part, MCTs are broken down much faster than long chain fatty acids, giving your body a quick energy surplus to assist with healing. This is a huge bonus for brain function and for nerve recovery. So let's look at where the oil comes from. There are two main sources of MCT oil. It's extracted from coconut oil and palm kernel oil. Now, coconuts are the best source of MCT oil. They're by far the richest natural sources of MCT, containing about 50 to 60% MCTs, primarily in the form of caprylic and capric acid. These two MCTs have a vast array of health benefits like improved intestinal health, better nerve transmission, powerful antioxidant properties, and much more. You can find MCTs in butter or ghee from grass-fed cows or full-fat dairy products, not the low-fat. But these levels of MCTs are significantly lower. If you use pure MCT oil, you'll get up to 80% of capric and caprylic acid, which is more than when you consume coconut oil. And this increase improves nerve function and recovery. But this doesn't mean you should ditch the coconut oil because it has many health be benefits that go beyond the benefits of MCT oil. My recommendation is to consume a, consume a combination of coconut oil and pure MCT oil. Here's an important side note, health warriors. Beware. You can't cook or heat MCT oil. Heat destroys all of its health benefits. Instead, use liquid MCT oil in your coffee, your smoothies, or salad dressing. You can even consume it straight from a teaspoon and reserve the coconut oil for cooking. Here's another very important side note. You never want to consume any MCT oil that's been extracted from palm kernel oil. This seed oil is extremely detrimental to your health. It's highly refined and often hydrogenated, producing trans fat, and it increases oxidative stress and free radical damage in your body. If you missed my video on how seed oils can destroy your health and your nervous system, make sure you watch that after this. I'll leave a link for you below. Before we get into how much you should take, it's important for you to understand why you should take it and how it can help with your nerve recovery. I find whenever a patient understands the why and the how, they're more inclined to stay on their healing path. So let's look at the MCT oil benefits for your nervous system. Okay, the first benefit is enhanced energy for nerve cells. Nerve cells are dependent on glucose for healthy functioning. When glucose metabolism is impaired for any reason, like insulin resistance, 
oxidative stress, chronic inflammation, or more, the glucose can't get into nerve cells and give them the necessary fuel. The good news is MCTs are rapidly converted into ketones by the liver, which can serve as an alternative fuel source for any cell, including nerve cells. Now, this can help keep the nerves functioning and slow down the process of further nerve damage. Benefit number two, MCT oil increases mitochondrial efficiency. For nerve cells to function properly, they need a lot of energy, and their mitochondria are critical for generating this energy. But too often, peripheral nerve damage results in mitochondrial damage, disrupting the nerve cell's ability to use glucose effectively as a primary fuel source. But there's a silver lining. Ketones produced from MCTs can be easily used as an alternative fuel source for the mitochondria within the nerve cells to keep the nerves functioning normal. This may surprise you. Do you know that a single nerve cell called a neuron can contain up to 2 million mitochondria? And there are approximately 135 billion neurons in the body. So how many is that? Hmm. I'll let you do the math. Now, here's a trivia question for you. How many mitochondria are there in the entire body? Take a guess and put it in the comments section. I'll reveal the answer later on in this video. Okay, let's get back on track with mitochondrial efficiency. Ketones can help support reju and rejuvenate damaged mitochondria. Since nerves rely heavily on continuous supply of energy to transmit signals properly, when you improve mitochondrial function with ketones, you improve the health of the nerve cells, leading to better nerve signals transmission and improved nerve function. Okay, number three, MCT can assist with myelin sheath repair. The myelin sheath is a protective coating around the peripheral nerve and it's critical for proper nerve signal transmission throughout the body. In fact, damage to the myelin sheath is the underlying cause of many forms of neuropathies and neurodegenerative diseases like multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's, and many other. The ketone production from MCTs have been shown to support myelin sheath regeneration. Okay, on to number four, enhanced cognition and mood support. MCT oil can provide a brain-boosting effect by supplying ketones as a clean, efficient energy source for both peripheral nerves and the brain. It improves cognitive function and mental clarity by preventing irritability and fatigue of the brain neurons. It also reduces inflammation in the brain and it enhances the production of GABA, a brain neurotransmitter that promotes calmness and reduces anxiety. All right, on to number five it actually reduces pain. Research shows that increased ketones can inhibit certain pain pathways. For instance, drugs like gabapentin, pregabalin, and Lyrica are designed to lessen nerve pain by de decreasing nerve excitability. But these drugs often only work in high doses and really only for about 50% of the people taking them. Not to mention they come with a long list of side effects. Well, get ready for a side note, health warriors. Research has shown that ketones produced from taking MCT oil can also decrease the excitability of nerve cells, and it can actually reduce pain sensitivity of the sensory nerves, which can cause symptoms like burning, tingling, or stabbing pain in the feet or hands without any of the side effects you would get from medication. Also, medications like gabapentin and Lyrica don't heal the nerves, but MCT oils actually plays a role in repair and regeneration of damaged nerves. Okay, on to number six, neuroprotective effects. MCT oil has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and may help regulate blood sugar levels, which can reduce the risk of further nerve damage for diabetics and pre-diabetics. It's also been proven to reduce oxidative stress and chronic inflammation. Both are major contributors to nerve damage and degeneration. When ketones are produced from MCT oils, they can elevate antioxidant properties which protect nerve cells. Health warriors, there are so many more benefits that MCT oil offer than what I just mentioned. But let's get to the exciting part, optimal dosage. How much do you need to take? When you're trying to achieve a strong therapeutic benefit for nerve repair and pain reduction, research has shown that taking two to three tablespoons or 30 to 45 milliliters daily is effective. 
This amount increases ketone production for nerve cells in both the brain and the peripheral nervous system. But you don't want to immediately jump into this amount. It's important to start at a very low dose and slowly work your way up. For instance, I would recommend starting with one tablespoon or five ml daily for two weeks, then increase to two teaspoons or 10 ml daily for another two weeks. Every two weeks, increase by one teaspoon or five ml until you reach three tablespoons or 45 ml. For the non-cooks, there are three teaspoons in one tablespoon or 15 ml per tablespoon. Doing this gradual stair-step procedure gives your gastrointestinal tract a chance to acclimate to the increased oil and can prevent any GI discomfort like bloating or diarrhea. For anyone with diabetes, severe peripheral neuropathy, or a neurodegenerative disease, I would recommend using three ta tablespoons daily, starting with the gradual increase I just laid out. For those with moderate neuropathy and no diabetes or pre-diabetes, you'd probably be fine with two tablespoons daily. Now, for those people who have recovered from peripheral neuropathy and they just want to stay on a maintenance dose for nerve protection to prevent their neuropathy from returning, we always re recommend at least one tablespoon daily. Although MCT oil is generally considered safe for most people, it can have some mild side effects with a small percentage of folks. So let's go over those so you know what to look for. Now, the first one could be diarrhea. MCT oil can have a laxative effect when taken in high doses too quickly before your body gets used to it. Starting with a small amount can help prevent this. Now, the second possibility is nausea. Some people experience nausea when they first start using MCT oil. Again, gradually increasing the dose and taking it with food may reduce this side effect. We also recommend taking a specific enzyme called lipase to help with metabolizing the fat. Another possibility is bloating and gas. Since MCT oil is rapidly metabolizing, it can cause bloating or gas in some individuals, particularly when consumed on an empty stomach. Another possibility is stomach cramps. Again, consuming too much MCT oil at once can lead to stomach discomfort or cramps. Splitting the dosage throughout the day can help. And for those of you who are concerned about taking this much fat because you've had your gallbladder removed, no need to worry. Studies have proven that MCT oils are definitely the oil of choice for those with no gallbladder because unlike heavier fats, it doesn't require the gallbladder for metabolism. One last thing, for people suffering from fatty liver disease, the science for the benefits of MCT oils appears to outweigh any risk. Dr. M and I have poured through the research and have found many conflicting studies, but here's what we've been able to gather so far. There's enough valid studies that support taking MCT oil in lower dosages without any further fat deposition to the liver. So what's a smaller amount? Well, research definitely shows that you're safe with one tablespoon daily and possibly as much as two tablespoons. To play it safe, we tell our patients with fatty liver disease to keep the MCT oil at about four teaspoons daily. And that should be spread throughout the day. Well, there you have it, health warriors. MCT oil isn't just a trendy supplement. It's a game changer for nerve health and energy. By fueling your nerves with this potent oil, you're not just boosting your energy, you're giving your entire nervous system a vital upgrade. If you found this video enlightening and want more insights on how to achieve nerve recovery and keep your health journey on track, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to click on the bell so you're always in the loop with the latest tips and the science to back it up. I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Okay, here is the answer to the trivia question. How many mitochondria are in the human body? Not an easy question, I'll admit. Well, depending on the person's age, health, and activity level, a rough estimate would place the number of mitochondria in the human body somewhere between 10 and 100 quadrillion. There you have it, health warriors. I'll see you on the next video.